Dr. Joe DeMarco, chiropractor and owner of Oak for Med Health. On today's video, we're going to talk about pain and discomfort in the lower part of the shoulder, kind of mid-arm region, right about this area here. You know, it's a common area that uh, weightlifters can oftentimes uh, injure and feel discomfort. So we're going to go over what is causing the, the, the pain or the discomfort, and I'm going to show you some techniques on how to fix it. Before we get started, I'd just like to take a moment to say that if, you know, if you've been watching my videos and you enjoy them, please uh, take a moment, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications. When a new video comes out, you'll get notified. Also, at the end of the video, you know, if you, if you like the content and you felt like you got something out of it, I'd really appreciate it if you give the video a like, okay? All right. So let's get right down to the information on today's video. Okay, so you know, if you're an active person, if you exercise on a regular basis, if you're a weightlifter, probably at some point or another, you have experienced discomfort in this general area. You've probably had some dull, achy uh, pain throughout this area. You're not sure why you're getting it. So that's what we're gonna talk about right now. Right about here, there's a lot of soft tissue attachment going on right here. The three heads of your deltoid, anterior, you know, middle, posterior, converge and attach into the arm bone or what's known as the humerus, right about this point here. I think you can kind of see where the deltoid, the cap of the deltoid comes down and attaches right about there. Right below that, immediately below that is also the origin of what's known as the brachialis. Now the brachialis is a elbow flexor and it's a very strong elbow flexor that starts right at this point, it's attached also to the humerus and then it comes down and crosses the elbow joint. And so right here, you got a lot of fascia, you got tendon attachments, a uh, very muscular area of the body, and that area will uh, oftentimes become inflamed. It, it can be put under a lot of stress, shoulder work where the deltoid is involved in heavy movements, uh, the tendon of the deltoid down here can get tugged on, the brachialis, uh, heavy movements or, or, or repetitive movements involving elbow flexion, which is what the brachy, uh, brachialis does. It's a strong elbow flexor, uh, flexor of the body. Uh, so movements involving that can put, um, can, can, the brachialis can tug on, the, on its tendon. And so the tendon attachments here uh, can get irritated, can get inflamed, and it can cause that dull ache. I mean, I've had this thing where sometimes it will bother me in the gym while I'm actually doing, say, some type of shoulder work or some arm work, and uh, sometimes I'll feel it right in the gym. Sometimes I'll feel okay during my workout, but maybe you've experienced this where later in the day, you know, you go to, to, to lift something up and you get like kind of this, like, oh, like this dull, achy pain that can be pretty intense. I've noticed it on some days when I've had this going on and I had this not too long ago. I was just running up some steps and I was pumping my arms and all of a sudden I was like, what the heck is going on here? I had this like really like intense, dull ache right through this area. And so it's a common thing that can happen. And I'm going to show you a bunch of different techniques using a bunch of different gadgets that you might have in your house on how to fix this thing. What we wanna do is the tendons are inflamed. Tendons get inflamed when they get tugged on by the associated muscles. And the reason muscles tug on tendons is the muscles can develop soft tissue uh, adhesions or what we call fascial adhesions where the muscle loses its elasticity. So since the muscle's not stretching like it should, the brachialis or maybe the deltoid is not as elastic as it should because of these fascial adhesions, it'll start tugging on the tendons and this area will get inflamed and it will make your life miserable. But lucky for you, we're here to tell you how to fix it. So that's what we're gonna get right into right now. Okay, so we're gonna just start with some fascia release techniques. I'm actually gonna go over some stuff that you can do if you have absolutely nothing to work with at home. Now, before we do anything, make sure you're warmed up, make sure the blood's flowing. Don't do this type of work first thing in the morning, right out of bed. You know, warm up, get some blood flowing, whether you want to go for a little bit of a walk or you, uh, do a little bit of light exercise and you can do this after your, your light workout, but get the blood flowing through the area. Now, I would recommend since we're, you know, we're going to be going over the area with, you know, to try to break up some of the tightness in here, you may want to apply a little bit of massage cream or like if you have anything around the house, like a hand cream, don't use anything oily. Don't put any oil on it. You don't want it slippery. You just want a little bit of a glide to maybe, um, decrease the amount of friction on the skin because it's going to get a little red when you work on it. So if you have no fascia release uh, tools at home to use, what, what you can do is you can just get in there with the, uh, the knuckles of the opposite hand. So I'm going to just take my 
uh, knuckles of my right hand to work on my left arm. So I usually kind of like try to use like my uh, index and middle finger. I kind of make like a little fascia release tool out of these two two knuckles just like that, okay? And this is what I'll do. I'll, I'll use these two knuckles and I'll get in on this tissue here and I'll start right at that connection point here. And I'll just try to get in there and dig away about 60 seconds where I'm just kind of right on that attachment point. I'm gonna go up and down, side to side, and just apply firm uh, pressure for about 60 seconds in all sorts of different directions in there. It might feel a little sore, uh, might be tender, so just go to your tolerance when you're working on it like that. So about 60 seconds. Then come up a little higher and get into the deltoid area a little bit and, and repeat the process, about 60 seconds throughout the deltoid to see what you can do to just kind of mash that muscle up and break up anything that might feel tight in there with the knuckles of your hand, just like that, and about 60 seconds here. Now drop down. Now you gotta remember the brachialis is kind of deep to the bicep. You, so if you kind of move the bicep over a little bit, the brachialis is kind of there. Matter of fact, if you just kind of like flex your arm, you can feel where your bicep is. And if you come behind the bicep a little bit, you'll feel the brachialis in there. It'll be contracted uh, when you're in elbow flexion. So you can kind of contract, feel it, and then kind of relax the arm and get those knuckles right into that brachialis muscle, okay? And just kind of dig around right in there. So like I said, it's underneath the bicep, so you can kind of push the bicep out of the way and just once again, spend about 60 seconds breaking it up, okay? And so that's just using the knuckles of, of your hand. If you get nothing else to work with, you know, uh, try that a couple different times a day, working on the muscles by just using your other hand. If you have a, a spiky massage ball, so we got a couple different spiky massage balls here. These are Tai Chi balls. This is a Tai Chi Max ball, Tai Chi regular ball. These are from Ocrement Health. Uh, you can, if you need one, you can pick them up at our website. But um, different sizes, depends on the size of your arm. You can use the uh, small ones um, a little trickier because it's a little, uh, it's being tinier because we're gonna use it up against the wall, but it's a good way to get in a little deeper. So you may want to start with the larger one and when you want to get in a little deeper on the tissue, you can switch to the smaller one. So just for you know video purposes today and just so you can see it a little bit, I'm going to use the max ball, okay? And so I'm going to get that max ball right in that soft tissue area that we we're talking about where all the tendons are coming in. I'm going to put the ball right on that and then I'm going to get right up against the wall and I'm going to put some firm pressure, my body weight up against the wall and I'm going to use this to kind of move around and dig into the soft tissues. I'm gonna go kind of back and forth with it, up and down, all different angles for about 60 seconds. The, the important part of when you use a ball like this, it's the spiky uh, texture of the ball. A smooth tennis ball, smooth lacrosse ball, it is just kind of gonna kind of glide, you know, over the tissue. It will get blood flow, but if you really wanna dig through uh, that fascial adhesions and, and dig through some of that soft tissue, you really wanna use something spiky. So I'm gonna spend about 60 seconds kind of doing that type of motion. After about 60 seconds of just kind of trying to mash up that area where those attachment sites are, I'm gonna do a couple different things. One is I'm gonna have my arm up like this. I'm gonna just lean into the ball as tight as I can, and I'm gonna just stretch my elbow out straight, just like that, and then come back up, stretch it out straight. And I'm gonna go back and forth just like that, nice and slow, like 10 times. After I do that 10 times, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my arm and I'm gonna put it behind my back. If, I, if you can, grab the hand with your other arm and stretch it that way and come back and again and do this 10 times. So I'm coming behind my back, I'm pulling my hand across my back with my other hand and nice and controlled and slow, just like that 10 times, okay? Then come up onto the deltoid. Spend about 60 seconds kinda digging through that deltoid muscle with the ball up against the wall, up and down, side to side. After you've done that for 60 seconds, now that we're on the deltoid, we don't need to do the elbow flexion, but we are gonna, uh, again, go behind the back with the hand, stretch it across the back, and bring it back 10 times. Give it a nice firm stretch, just night and hold it just, you know, a couple seconds, and then bring it back 10 times. Once you've done that, now go below that area and get back on that brachialis. 
get the ball in there, get up against the wall, try to be, you know, do the best you can, try to fit it kind of, you know, where the brachialis is underneath that bicep. So try to just kind of fit it in between there. You'll get good at, you know, figuring it out eventually. It just takes a little bit of work. And then from here, straighten out the elbow, come all the way back up. Straighten out the elbow, come all the way back up. And we're gonna do that 10 times, okay? So that's the little technique we're gonna use with the ball. We start at the, the center, do what I want, you know, go, uh, just like I went over, come up on the deltoid, go down on the brachialis, okay? So that's using um, spiky balls if you have them. A couple times a day, go over it with the ball and try to loosen up that tissue to try to break free some of the adhesions and I'll take some of the pre some pressure off the, the insertions in here and that should help your pain. We're gonna move on, uh, you know, using some other techniques, using some other gadgets. So the purpose here is I'm just trying to give you a lot of different ways you can get at this thing, whether you have no equipment at your house, if you have some spiky balls. I know people that watch the channel have been at my website. They've picked up some of the different things we carry. So if you have them, I'm trying to show you how you can you can use them in different parts of the body here. So the other um, little gadget that you can use to get into this area is if you have uh, what we call a neck lax that, uh, that's oftentimes used for the neck, but we've also showed how to use this before in the past videos on using it on your calves, using it on your forearms. Well, this area here is a great place for this too. Now, as you know, with the neck lax, you can pull in and rotate these uh, shiatsu massages in the different positions, depending on the size of your arm, is you know how you're gonna you know I would rotate it now if your arm is really large this probably isn't gonna work on you but um, just for someone like if you have you know even the uh, size of my arm I can use this pretty efficiently on my um, on my deltoid to, to get a release in there so what I'll do is I have it set in this position where it's, the longer edges are at top the smaller um, part of the shiatsu massage is at the bottom like I said you can rotate this the opposite way like that, if you want to change it, it all depends on the size of your arm. So I'm going to get these shots of massages on this. I'm going to come back behind like the tricep and open it up and get that point of the deltoid right underneath that shots of massager and then I'm going to clamp it. So I get that massager right on that spot and I'm, this is where I'm going to kind of just dig around with it. I'm going to go side to side, I'm going to twist it and I'm just gonna to go to my tolerance, but I'm gonna get right into that soft tissue and I'm just gonna beat it up. I'm gonna break up any adhesions that are in there, any tissue that might be restricted and getting tight. I'm gonna just basically spend, you know, 60 seconds, maybe 90 seconds of just kind of going at it in there and just try to break up anything I can feel that feels tight. If you want, you can come down a little bit lower now. So from this position, I'm below that area, so I'm gonna be more on that brachialis. So what I would recommend at this point is clamp it with your elbow bent and get on that, clamp that brachialis and now stretch out those fibers of the brachialis by extending your elbow. So again, uh, at the top clamp, extend down the arm. When you come back up, release the clamp, then clamp it again and extend out the arm. And so we're on that brachialis and by clamping at the top with the, the, when the elbow's bent, the, the, the fibers are shortened, you clamp it in that position and then you extend out the elbow, which will stretch the fibers and you're stretching it as you have it clamped. So that will help release the tissue in the brachialis. Now this might be a little bit too uh, much to get in on the deltoid. Your deltoids might be too big, but if it, if you can, you can actually go above uh, into the deltoid and clamp in here and once again, work the tissue of the deltoid with the shiatsu massager where you just dig around and, um, and try to break up the tissue for about 60 seconds. Like I said, I'll go up and down, side to side, okay? So you can get, you can get quite a bit of um, accomplished using just the uh, neck lax massager on this area. Like I said, if you have a, a, a very big arm, this isn't gonna be for you, but if, you're, if your arm is an average size arm, you can do quite a bit of soft tissue work on the, in this area with this. So let's move on to another technique. Okay, let's move on. This next technique is awesome. If I had anything, if I had my choice of all the stuff we're going over, this is how I would really get in there myself using a um, fascia release tool. This is a stainless steel fascia release tool. We call it the FF5. And it has all the way around it, there's a dull edge to this tool. 
And this, the reason we have a dull edge to this tool is we can get in with that dull edge into the soft tissue, muscle tissue that is a nice elastic, normal muscle tissue is very elastic. And if you glide this over that soft muscle tissue, it'll just glide right over it. Adhesions are not elastic, they're not smooth, and they're, they're fibrous and they're rough in nature. And when you go over the uh, fibrous uh, tissue with this edge, you will feel a uh, sound that almost sounds like And that's this instrument going through that tissue, breaking up those adhesions, okay? So I would actually start right at this point here, and I would use one of the uh, um, edges that, that kind of uh, a concave right through here or right through here and I would just start pull right up and over and go up and down and, and as you go up kind of give it a little turn like that so start here go right over that tissue and kind of turn it up and pull it right over the deltoid just like that and I would go over it 10 or 12 times just kind of going up and over gauge your pressure you're gonna get a lot of blood flow using this type of tool. You're gonna to notice that my arm, even as I'm just demonstrating here, is gonna get really red, that's, that's totally fine. You might have your sensitive skin. This might be red the next day. It could even be a little black and blue, that's totally fine. So you just gotta kinda of go up over that tissue and, and just drag the FF5 right over the soft tissue, just like that, okay? So then come back to that point where we've talked about the attachments and just get in on on now with uh, one of the convex parts like this, or even down in here, and just take it and just kind of dig, dig right into that tissue, back and forth, up and down, and spend about 60 seconds just digging right into that exact tissue right there. Kind of break up what you can. Then come down a little lower now. You can kind of get this instrument right between, like I said, the, the brachialis is underneath the bicep, Get in there with that convex point again and just kind of dig right at that brachialis back and forth like this. Try to relax your arm and go right into that soft tissue. As you're working along there, you might find a little knot. If you find a knot, spend, the, spend a little extra time. Just spend an extra 30 or 60 seconds on that knot if you feel a knot in there. That knot is probably a fascial adhesion that's not stretchy material that's doing some of the tugging. So you want to spend a little extra time breaking that up and digging through that tissue, just like that. Okay, so using an FF5 is a great way to get in and start digging around, breaking up that soft tissue, and uh, to get a release, which will take the stress off the tendons. So uh, once again, and if you if you have something like this, or you or you uh, own the FF5, great way to break it up. Okay, and last but not least, I know a lot of you people uh, viewing have massage guns at home. Uh, it's a very popular fascia release tool. This, this particular massage gun is what we call the SRI 3.0 that we have at our website, but a lot of these own a lot of different types of massage guns. So I'm gonna show you how to use your massage gun on, on, on this area. You know, a lot of people that have massage guns, they don't really know what to do with them. So that's why I'm gonna take some time to show you what you can do with them. You might have this massage gun that's sitting around your house and you don't know um, different parts of the body that, um, that you could be using this thing on. So anyways, if you have an SRI 3.0, awesome. If you have your a massage gun from somewhere else, that's great too. But we're gonna show you using a couple different attachments. I'm gonna start with just kind of like that, kind of that common attachment, which is just a ball. And you're gonna get it in here, put on your attachment, fire up your massage gun, and just use the, the ball to just kind of go over the soft tissue, focusing in on that uh, connection point right in there. You might want to even just hold it on that spot where the uh, tendon attachments are. You can hold it for about 60 seconds and let this thing do its work. After you spend about 60 seconds on that, come up into the deltoid, work through that tissue, and then come down along the brachialis and work through that tissue and spend some time on all this soft tissue, okay? Then what I would do is switch out attachments. Now, the SRI comes with an attachment that looks like this. I love this particular attachment. It's a great attachment to use on certain muscle groups and this is one particular area because this is like perfect size for, for coming up over the arm because uh, you can kind of cup it right along the arm like this. So once again, get in there, fire up your massage gun and drag it 
from the elbow right up and along into the deltoid and then come back down and just drag it right up. This is a, such a this is such a relaxing guy, uh, an awesome attachment. This this uh, U shaped attachment. You can just you can use it on your thighs. You can use it on your calves. You can use it on your arm, like I'm demonstrating right at the deltoid. When you get to that area where the tendon attachments are, back and forth, kind of dig in there. Let it do let it do its thing here. You know, just kind of work that tissue up into the deltoid. And spend time just digging around. You feel a knot, spend a little extra time when you feel a knot. Um, but that's a great attachment. Uh, hopefully you have something like that on your gun. And then finally, we're really going to do get in here and do some soft tissue work. This attachment, if you have something similar, it's a very hard plastic uh, kind of edge, um, knife edge type of um, attachment that we have here. As you can see, it's narrow. And this thing we can really get in there and do some serious work with because it's firm. You may not want to, if you're new at doing this, you may not want to go right to this type of an attachment because it's pretty intense. But once you get used to it and you've done some work with those other attachments, this is the attachment that I certainly would recommend to work on this area. So you would fire up that massage gun. And what I like about this attachment, first of all, when we're getting in on the uh, brachialis in here, this is a perfect attachment if you come in like this with that attachment. You can separate out the bicep um, and get right into that brachialis right there because you can kind of just wedge this underneath the bicep and get it direct, directly on the brachialis. And if you once you do that, I would just kind of wiggle it back and forth right on the brachialis, back and forth, kind of go up and down with it. But this attachment is awesome for getting underneath the bicep brake eye and get right on the brachialis. Then you can turn it this way and come right up into that tendon attachment that's giving us all the trouble. And once you spend some time on that, come right up into the deltoid with this thing and dig through the deltoid with that attachment. You can go in this direction and you can go in that direction. So that's kind of like my attachment of choice once you've warmed up the tissue. You know, I've shown you a bunch of different ways of going at it. You can use a combination of, of the massage ball, you can the massage gun, the neck lax. You can use a whole combination. Sometimes when I'm working on an injury, I break out all the, artil all the artillery. I break out everything. If I have an injury, I'll spend a little time with the massage ball. I'll get in there with the FF5. I'll break out the massage gun. So I'll spend, you know, like 15, 20 minutes working on this area using all these different gadgets because they all have um, benefits. One, you know, one, one tool might have certain benefits that something else doesn't have. So I'll kind of combine it. If you only have one, that's fine too. You know, just use the, whatever you have. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if all you have is this, just you do the best you can with the knuckles, okay? All right, so work on it. You know, this isn't, you know, just like any soft tissue injury, this doesn't go away with one treatment. Spend some time on it, work it every day. If it's sore one day, skip a day. When you're in the gym, avoid motions that or exercises that directly aggravate this. It'll help it get better quicker if you avoid the exercises that, that actually put direct stress into the area. So work around it. Sometimes you have to work around injuries. I don't like to take days off, but, um, but, you, but you have to sometimes work around it. So there may be certain exercises that you don't want to do for a couple weeks until this inflammation, this, this, this area is feeling better, all right? But the good thing is it's a soft tissue injury. It usually responds well uh, or very good to those techniques I just showed you. So good luck. I want you better. I want you in that gym. I want you working out as hard as you can, all right? Hey, listen, when you have a chance, all those uh, gadgets that we just showed are all available on my website, www.oakwoodmedhealth.com. I appreciate, you know, take a look at it, support the channel by, uh, if you need something, pick it up at the website. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to just make a direct contribution to the channel, visit us on Patreon. Um, and, and if you'd like to give some support, I appreciate that also. If you've been enjoying my videos, please subscribe to Okra Med Health on YouTube. Questions about exercises or injuries, just leave a comment in the comment section below. I do the best I can to get back to everybody. And don't forget, Okra Med Health is here to keep you fit forever.